what is up guys how's it going this is another uh blu-ray update video for you uh blu-ray and dvd actually i'm uh gonna show off a couple things i got in dvd but uh it's an update video i haven't done an update video in what a week and a half something like that um i apparently acquire a lot of stuff in that time so uh, let's just get right into it uh i got stuff from uh pickups from like six different places so let's just get this going um, I made a video about this one already. I just—it's the only Target pickup I have, and I figured I'd just show that quick. And that is uh, Madman Season Six. Uh, this is not the Target exclusive, uh, just the regular version. Uh, for those who didn't see the video, Target—at least I'm pretty sure it still is anyway—is uh, has Season Six on DVD and Blu-ray for $9.99 for the next uh, two weeks, I think. Um, really good deal on that. That's actually, that's a good price on this show. It's a good show. Um, it's not my favorite show, uh, especially on AMC. My favorite show would be Breaking Bad, but it's a very good show and a lot of interesting themes and, uh, topics, but, uh, I recommend, uh, checking it out and, uh, getting this, uh, for 10 bucks if you can get it. It's a good deal, no matter what it is. Uh, what else? Uh, um, let's see, I'm not sure where to start next. Uh, I got, like I said, I got a lot of pickups here um i got some two things from go Haze, let's just do those quick and maybe that's actually it for tv series yeah i just did mad men and then i got two more tv series shows Blah. well obviously tv series from go hasting go hasting had like a uh what do you call it a, a 24 hour sale or something on these shows seasons one through four i think and uh for 20.99 uh, so I figured that was a pretty good price. I'd never seen them that low, and they weren't used; they were brand new. So I figured for twenty ninety nine or you know twenty one bucks, that's a good deal. So I got uh, the complete third season of True Blood and the complete fourth season. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, they came in new condition, wrapped, uh, sealed. I've seen both of these seasons. I have season one and two already. Um, I actually told myself I wasn't going to buy these anymore. But for whatever reason, uh, when I saw the sale, I just kind of started thinking about it and thought, you know, seasons one and two, I think, are my favorite of the entire series that I've watched so far. And season three and four were still decent. Um, and season five, I don't even remember, honestly. Uh, I think I watched that, but I did not watch the most recent season, season six. And uh, I don't know what's going on with that show. It's kind of a weird show. But anyway, uh, I figured it was a good price. An HBO series... Um, are usually pretty expensive, so I figured, what the hell, I'll just get it, so, that's them, movie's over, and those are my, uh, TV series, I think, or, yeah, anyway, next stop, so that was Target and, uh, Hastings, or Go Hastings, the next stop we're at, gonna be at is the, my last haul for Blockbuster Video, and I think they closed their doors either yesterday or maybe today, uh, for good, or at least in my area. I'm not sure if it's for good everywhere. But the store that I was frequenting, I closed their doors. and Which is kind of sad, but also, I mean, you know, I really didn't even stop at Blockbusters up until they started going out of business. So, I mean, I haven't rented a movie in a store for seven, eight years. Something like that. Which is kind of sad when I think about it, because I used to do that a lot when I was younger and in college. But anyway, I guess I was in college six years ago. But anyway... Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, last pickups. Um, I got a couple Blu-rays, a couple DVDs. I know, seriously, I bought some DVDs. Um, but they were 99 cents. Everything was 99 cents, except for one purchase that was actually brand new. But, uh, I'll show you the Blu-rays first. Um, this is the first one's a title I've passed up numerous, numerous times. I've almost bought in store a couple times, but I just could never bring myself to do it because I heard it was bad. And it's been on Netflix, I think, for a while. Netflix streaming. But I finally got it for a dollar. And that is Conan uh, the Barbarian, the remake with uh, Jason Momoa from Game of Thrones. Um, it's got Ron Perlman in it, too, I think. But uh, I heard nothing but bad things about this. Um, I don't know. For a buck, though, I figured I would at least watch it in the high D, high definition. High D? Whatever. And the next one is another movie that I'd seen a couple times. This is actually, I think, also on Netflix streaming, but whatever. I bought it. 
and that is Puncture, starring Chris Evans, uh, based on a true story, apparently. I did not even notice that until just now. Um, this is the last copy they had. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't the last copy. It's got, you can, I don't know if you can tell, like some water damage there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's not a big deal, but I just thought that was a problem. But, uh, yeah, Puncture. I heard decent things about it. Chris Evans apparently gets good uh, reviews uh, for his acting. And then I bought one thing. Well, actually, let's do the DVDs first. I bought two DVDs. I never buy DVDs, but uh, I was just perusing what they had left, and I figured, what the hell, for a buck, uh, I get it. This one's actually fairly new. That is Parkland, about uh, the day Kennedy was assassinated. Um, I honestly don't know a whole lot about this. It's got, obviously, some Cannes Film Festival Sundance stuff going on here. Uh, well, not Cannes, I guess, but just, you know, film festivals. And, uh... God, all-star cast here, so I figured for a buck. What the heck. And this next one, I just got it because it was... The cover is funny, and I remember hearing about it a long time ago, and just seeing it made me want to get it. And that is Chapter 27, starring a very overweight uh, Jared Leto. Um, it's just... I don't know. That image is funny to me. Uh, it's based on a true story about the, uh, the guy who shot uh, John Lennon. Uh, whatever the hell his name is. Something. Mark David Chapman, that's his name. Hey, look, his silhouette's a fucking gun. Should have seen that coming, then. Um, I heard he does a good good job in the movie, but I also heard the movie was a little uh, convoluted. I don't know. For a buck, what the hell. Um, and then my last pickup, and the last thing I'll ever be buying from Blockbuster, was a brand new title. Um, all their movies were, uh, I think, discounted up to 70 or 75% off. And this was this came to a grand total of like three dollars and twenty cents, I think. It's an older movie. It's a horror movie I'd never seen. And honestly, I got it because the the uh, it had a slip cover and it looked like it was in pristine shape. And after I got it out of the packaging, you know their snap packaging, uh, it is. It's in pristine shape. And that is uh, the Last Exorcism. And I don't know if you can tell. This is one of those paper ones too, so they kind of like fuck up pretty quickly and easily. All the corners are in pretty good condition. Um, yeah, everything is in great condition. So I thought that was pretty cool. Haven't seen the movie. I've heard um, mixed things. I think mostly bad, but I, you know, for three bucks, I figured what the hell. I like adding movies to my um, horror collection. I figured what the hell. Okay, that's it for Blockbuster. And the next thing, I got a couple single titles, one from eBay and one from Amazon, looks like. Uh, let's do eBay first. I got this, and this is actually kind of annoying to me. I bought this, I bid on it, and I got it for a cheaper price than it's been going for on Amazon and whatnot. Uh, I got this for 15 bucks. It is The Hunt, starring uh, Maz Mikkelsen. And it's a great film. I watched it yesterday. A uh, very interesting film about a man who was wrongly accused of... Uh, child molestation or, you know, just like flashing or anything. And it escalates and it's it's an interesting film of taking the perspective that, you know, what happens when someone is, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? He's, he, he, he's wrongly convicted or not convicted, he's wrongly accused. What happens when you're accused of something, something horrible like pedophilia and it's not true? I mean, if it just it's if if you uh, are like me or like anyone else, your first initial reaction is that that person's a monster and they don't deserve even to get a trial. But you know, every it's just an interesting story because most people just judge you immediately. I mean, if you're convicted of it, there must be a reason, right? So I thought that was very interesting. Uh, very good performance by Matt Nicholson. The supporting cast is pretty good. The children in the movie actually. Uh, this is a Danish film, so. Uh, I don't know if the, the acting is a little different there or whatnot, but the children were actually very good, I thought, especially the main uh, little girl. Um, yeah, the, all around, it was a good movie. And the ending, um, uh, there's an alternate ending uh, to this in this uh, uh, release, and it adds like 20 seconds or so. Well, I shouldn't say that. It actually adds a different, a different ending. I can't tell you what that is because it kind of gives it away. Um, I heard about the ending. I didn't know what it was, but I heard that it was kind of weird or like interesting. And after seeing it, and after seeing the alternate ending, I think I uh, 
uh, don't prefer the alternate ending, but I think the alternate would have been a little too... Well, anyway, I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, very good movie. I recommend it. But what was annoying to me is I bought this, like, last Tuesday. I got it on... Well, actually, I bought it, like, over two weeks ago now. I forget. I bought it, like, a week and a half ago. I got it on, like, Friday. And I finally watched it yesterday. And this morning, I checked Netflix, and it's on streaming now. So, I mean, I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. Probably 50 times. I'm not even kidding. I've bought something on eBay, Best Buy, Amazon, whatever, and a week later, in this case, two days later, it's on Netflix streaming. So, uh, you know, uh, disclosure, don't buy anything ever. That's pretty much what I'm learning. So, yeah, if you want to watch it, you can go ahead and write, right now and watch it on Netflix streaming. Very good movie. Recommend it. That's my rant. Anyway. Uh, that was the only thing I got from eBay. Uh, the next single release, or single uh, pickup, was from uh, Amazon. And I actually bought this um, like a month ago, uh, around uh, the Christmas sales. And it was out of stock. Was it about a month ago? Yeah, it was actually. It was around uh, 26th. I guess it's not a month ago. That's like two and a half weeks, three weeks ago. But anyway, it finally shipped. And it's funny, because it's not even a good movie. It's a movie that was, it was four bucks. And that is The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. With the alternate cover, I guess, than the original cover. This is this a little nicer looking than the regular. Um, this is not a good movie. Well, I'll just go on record and say that. It's not It's it's not a good movie. It's pretty shitty, actually. Uh, I haven't seen it in a long time, and I remember hating it. But for whatever reason, uh, when I saw it for as cheap as it was, it, when, I, when I went to... Walmart that time and got those couple movies for five bucks or four bucks. They it wasn't there, and if it was, I would have picked it up. So that's why I picked it up online. It was out of stock. But anyway, I don't know if I want to talk about this that much. I mean, I think most of you know what this movie is. I think it was Sean Connery's last movie. Um, if that's correct, that's pretty sad, honestly. Uh, but I think it is, and uh, the only thing I could say about this is I thought the effects for um. um the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde's character was not CGI. It was actually animatronics and like a suit. And I thought that was pretty cool. Although I, I remember thinking it was pretty cool. I think he's on the back here. Is he? No, he isn't. Never mind. Um, anyway. Leave a story, gentlemen. It's based on a, uh, a Alan Moore graphic novel. But uh, that's much more interesting. Anyway, let's see here. I got three titles from fries.com. And it's been a long time since I ordered from them, but uh, I got three titles. These were also kind of back-ordered, and I eventually got them. I got them last week, I think. Was it? Yeah. Um, these were all four fifty a piece or something like that, or five bucks, or under five bucks. And yeah, so here they are. First one is Blindness. I watched this on DVD, I think, like four years ago, five years ago. What was this movie? 2011, but I don't think it's... Oh, 2008, so yeah, about... Yeah, I guess four years ago. Um, it's about uh, society. I don't know if it's just uh, the United States or the world as a whole, but one day everyone just starts going blind, and there's no explanation for it. It's just... I'm assuming the... If you're going to talk about, like, symbolism there, it's blindness to atrocity, blindness to un injustice and stuff. Um, but the only person who doesn't go blind is Julian Moore. Also not really explained, um, if I recall correctly. But what happens, everyone goes blind, total chaos ensues. Well, actually, wait a second. I don't think everyone goes blind. So, uh, the people who do go blind are treated like lepers and corralled into, like not concentration camps, but groups because the people who are sighted uh, find them annoying. And there's a whole commentary there. Um, but anyway, I remember watching it at night one day and thinking it was interesting. And I don't remember Dan Glover being in that, but whatever. Um, yeah. Interesting movie. There's a, there's a whole social commentary about uh, power and corruption and, and uh, apathy, I guess. But uh, for five bucks, I figured what the hell. I did not know this was an Echo Bridge title. Um, I might not have bought it if I'd known that, um, because as you can see here, there are no subtitles. At least they're not saying there are. I prefer sub subtitles when I'm watching movies, just because um, I've been watching subtitles now for like ten years, 
I don't know why. My hearing is going, apparently. Or I just am so used to watching it. Unless I'm watching it on TV or in theater. I prefer them. Anyway. Uh, next is a horror movie. A remake of a classic. Uh, Dawn of the Dead. This is, uh, what's his face? Zack Snyder. I haven't watched this in forever. But I remember really enjoying it. And it's a good remake, actually. One of the few that are, uh, you would almost say, improvements on the sort of material. But, uh. Not going to get into that and sort of play more. But uh, anyway, Dawn of the Dead, that was f also like four bucks. And the last one from Fry's is Halloween H2O. It is the last of the Halloween movies that I feel like ever purchasing. So I have Halloween. Actually, I have Halloween multiple times. I've got that on regular Amory case and the Digibook. And then two through six. And this is the seventh film. And actually, H2O is not a bad film. It's not, not a bad. Uh, not a remake or anything. It's just a continuation of the story with uh, Jimmy Curtis. But uh, the other, uh, the, the one after this, the sequel, the, um, what the hell is it called? It's fucking Buster Rhymes. Resurrection. That movie is garbage. Um, not that, like, five and six aren't, like, very good or anything, but th that movie is just, it takes the whole, like, haunted house thing, like Michael Myers' house, and, like, makes it an attraction or something, and, like, a, a reality show, or I, I, it's just, just me describing it makes me fucking want to vomit, but anyway. H2O, it was five bucks. Um, also, Echo Bridge, though, so I wasn't happy about that, but, you know, whatever. I completed the uh, collection that I wanted to, so that's pretty cool. All right, last pickups here. I got four things from Best Buy. Two of them I got from BestBuy.com. Let's just do those quick, and then I got two things in store. Um... Both of these also were backordered for like two weeks, and I got them last week. And this first one is uh, Celeste and Jesse Forever. Um, this was four or five bucks online. Um, haven't seen it, heard good things. Um, it's got Elijah Wood in it, apparently. And I did not know that when I bought it, but it's uh, stars Andy Samberg and, uh, more importantly, Richard Jones. I think Richard Jones is awesome. Uh, I loved her in uh, the one season of The Office, and I loved her in, or love her currently in Parks and Recreation. Uh, for any of those people who don't watch that show, I recommend it completely. Parks and Recreation is a great, great show. And it would not surprise me if it gets canceled this year because of low ratings, but, you know, Sylvie. But uh, I believe she co-wrote the script with somebody. Uh, I guess I could find out right now. Yeah, written by Rashida Jones and Will McCormick, directed by that guy. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't know much about it. I know that they're like a married couple, and I don't know if they've got problems or not, but... Uh, Written by Richard Jones sounded cool, so I got it. And the last thing, a movie that I was surprised I didn't own. Uh, it's just a movie that I think everybody really likes. I know uh, my brother likes it. I think my brother owns it. I mean, that's why I didn't. I borrowed it once. Maybe? I don't remember. I could have sworn I did own this, but I looked at my collection and realized I didn't, and then I purchased it for five bucks. And that is The Fifth Element. Uh, I kind of wish they'd give this a new release. Um, this is obviously an old uh, edition with the little experience high definition thing from like 2008 or 2007 um it's region free which i guess is cool but you know um and there's one special feature it is a feature length trivia fact track that is just so cool um yeah that's a great movie i haven't watched this in forever either there's so many things i have not watched in forever i should really remedy that but uh yeah fifth element that's a great movie uh very good sci-fi and that's cool. So, okay, last two. Uh, to, uh, honestly, I bought this next one because I bought something else earlier. I bought The Last Exorcism at a, a Blockbuster for 3 bucks, and so I figured, what the hell. I used a uh, $5 uh, reward zone point, or whatever, Best Buy plus whatever, bonus points, and made this 5 bucks. so I got uh, The Last Exorcism Part 2. And really, I got it because it still had a slipcover, and I saw a lot that didn't have any... And I'm just like that now. I buy things because they have slipcovers, and the sequel had a slipcover, and the original had a slipcover, and that's my life now. Haven't seen this either, obviously. Um, I heard this one was not good. That didn't stop me, though. <laughs> so, yeah. I know nothing about it. It's the uh, last exorcism part two, and I'm sure it's uh, just fine. And then the last pickup... Um, 
is a movie that just came out at Best Buy anyway, like last week. And I've been reading all about it on Blu-ray.com, online and stuff. And I just, I had to pick it up. And that is RoboCop, the uh, remastered edition. Because um, I did not own it. And I figured, what the hell? And it comes with a new uh, Q&A with the filmmakers, which is pretty cool. Plus all the extras on the DVD from 2004, I think. I think it's also the extras from the Criterion release back in the day. Because yes, this was a Criterion release. Um, not so much anymore. Uh, which I thought was pretty cool. And it did come with uh, $7.50 uh, towards uh, Hollywood movie money. Towards the new Robocop that comes out in like uh, two weeks or something. Uh, but that's for me, so you guys can't have that. Sorry. <laughs> um, so that's it. Um, ooh, actually... Since I had these sitting here, I did, um, I'm filming this on a new uh, iPhone 5. I've been using my iPhone 4 for the last, well, as long as I've been making videos. Um, and then occasionally my camera I got, but I usually film on my iPhone. And I was, my wife had a Samsung app, I don't know, it was an older version of a, a Galaxy phone. And it started to crap out uh, like two months ago. And she's been just kind of dealing with it. And then we've realized come January 1st, we could re-up. Uh, with Sprint, so we just went there and upgraded our phones. We both got fives, and uh, now she's happy, and I'm happy, and I got a better phone. And since I got a new phone, I got some cases, and I figured I'd show you what those were since they're both sort of movie related. The first one is uh, TV related, and I got uh, Breaking Bad, so I figured that's a cool case. I've used it a couple times. Um, this was 20 bucks from Etsy.com. Which isn't too bad, I guess, but uh, made of plastic. Um, kind of flimsy plastic, honestly, but uh, it's been fine so far. That's not the one I'm using the most, though. I use this one. I bought this from casemate.com, where you can create your own case. Um, I, you just you can just take an image and put it on top of it, and then uh, I'll send it to you. This was 40 bucks though, but it's like the best 40 bucks I ever spent on a case. And that is my Thing case, which, for anyone who knows me, knows that this is like my favorite film ever. And that's an awesome case. 40 bucks well spent. A little expensive, but that's cool. And there's my phone. It's white. And there's me again. Well, hi guys. So yeah, that's it. Um, just forgot to show that off. And then on top of that, I'll put Robocop. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we're about the halfway point on my contest uh, for the end of the month, or February 1st, or whatever the hell I do it. So uh, I've got like six or seven entries already, so let's keep those coming, guys. And, you know, uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, the month's going by so quick already. The year's going by quick. Um, uh, I am going to try to cut down on all the purchases, honestly. I am trying to buy a house this year. And uh, spending, you know, 150 bucks, 200 bucks a month on Blu-rays is, you know, get, dipping into that fund. So I may not have so many Blu-ray updates this year. Maybe I'll do more reviews. Um, or just showcases or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to like find cheaper titles as opposed to buying them new. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe, like the video, um, and you know, the usual stuff. And also, since my contest is going on, you should go over there and take a look at that because that's cool too. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.